for something actually funny or something like uh Do you have a joke for us today? I do. What type of fish has two knees? I don't know. A two knee fish. <laughs> Tell me a funny joke. Did you hear about the Energizer bunny? No. He got arrested. Charged with battery. <laughs> I like that one. Isn't that funny? Best history joke ever. <laughs> um, I have another fish joke. <laughs> what, what do you call a fish with no eyes? I don't know what. <laughs> you want to tell me a joke? Sure. So uh, a piece of string walks into a bar, tries to get a drink. Bartender says, we don't serve string here. Walks into the back alley, goes to a different bar. Bartender says, hey, aren't you that same piece of string that just came in here? And he said, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I feel like I'm letting you down right now. Do you have any jokes for us? I do. Past, present, and future walked into a bar. It was ten. You can edit this so if I like. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, I got one more. You ready? All right. Practice safe text. Always use commas and never miss a period. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Moynihan, history teacher at Stanford High. I don't need to say that, do I? <laughs> hey, Becca, where'd you get those pants? Alabama. Did you know? Did you know that the toothbrush was invented in Alabama? I did not. Why is that? Because if it was invented anywhere else, it would have been called the teeth brush. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I've built this up in my mind so much that now I'm like overthinking this. Do you have a joke for us today? I certainly do. <laughs> a neutron walks into a bar and orders a drink. He asks the bartender how much. The bartender says, "For you." No charge. Uh, okay, hi, I'm Mr. Moynihan, and um, rather than tell you a joke, I'm going to share a quick story with you. Um, as a history teacher, I've always really enjoyed uh, the human side of history, and my story actually has to do with uh, the history of my town. I grew up in a town in Massachusetts called Shrewsbury. Uh, and way back at the beginning of our country, uh, during the revolution, one of our leading citizens, Artemis Ward, was one of the people talked about uh, as potentially the leader of the Continental Army. Of course, as we all know, he was passed over for George Washington, and he had a little bit of resentment as a result of uh, not being selected. So while George Washington marched his troops to Boston to drive the British out, he stopped at Artemis Ward's house uh, to pay his respects. Artemis Ward greeted him uh, with his rear end. He actually lifted the sash, stuck his butt out the window, and mooned the father of our country. And that's why I like history. The end. <laughs>